Hi, Bowl Bakers. I've got a request to show you how to make homemade ice cream without choosing an ice cream machine. Now, I love this idea, and I'm going to make it using just two ingredients. And I'm customizing the flavors to some of your great suggestions. So let's get baking. You will never see me making something on Bigger Boulder Baking that you can't recreate with basic kitchen equipment. So today for our ice cream, all you need is a stand mixer or a hand mixer and two ingredients, that is it. First, we're gonna add in our cream into our mixing bowl and we're gonna whip it on medium speed until it forms soft peaks. When your cream is whipped, we're gonna pour in our condensed milk. Make sure you stick around to the very end to see what great ice cream flavors I've got coming up. We're gonna turn back on the mixer to medium speed and we're gonna beat it until it mixes all together and it becomes a little bit thicker. And this is your ice cream base. How easy is this? Tastes so good. Mm, yummy. I wanna give a big shout out to GS0001, whose great idea it was to make ice cream without the machine and who requested strawberry cheesecake ice cream, which is fantastic because that's one of my favorites. I have broken up a slice of baked cheesecake and I'm simply going to add our ice cream base and then we're just going to mix it in. I don't like to break up the base too much because that's my favorite part of the ice cream. I'm going to swirl in a drop of strawberry puree. And what we're going to do is create a ripple effect. You don't want to mix it in too much. Perfect. I got these food containers that I like to store my ice cream in. And you can get these in most food supply stores, but I'm also going to put a link in the description below. To finish off our ice cream, we're going to personalize it with a homemade sticker because that's what we do on Bigger Boulder Baking. Now into the freezer and onto our next flavor. Jack Pound said that his mom loves honeycomb and her birthday is coming up, so what can I make? Honeycomb is like the inside of a crunchy. It's really good. It's like a really light caramel. I can show you how to make this in the future. First, break it up using a mortar and pestle. Some bits in big lumps and some bits a little bit finer so you get good texture. We're gonna scatter our crushed honeycomb onto our ice cream base and then just gently fold it in. Because this honeycomb ice cream is for Jack's mom's birthday, we're gonna personalize it with a sticker. Now I'm just gonna taste it to make sure that Jack's mom would like it. Oh yeah, yeah, she would really like this. We're gonna pop this in the freezer and then onto our next flavor. Our next ice cream flavor is cookies and cream, courtesy of Mia Lopez via Pinterest and Fallen Angel on YouTube. Use a pestle and mortar to break up your cookies and leave their filling in there too, because it adds to the flavor. I choose Oreos because they're some of my favorite cookies. Just like the other ice creams, just gently fold in your cookies. I like to leave some bits unmixed. And there you have it, simple cookies and cream ice cream. Get it into the freezer and onto our next big flavor. Simi Satia is a big mango fan, so for this next ice cream, we're gonna make a mango swirl, kind of like a mango creamsicle. It's so good. To our base, we're gonna add in some vanilla seeds, and you can even add in some vanilla extract. See all these beautiful speckles in it. Drizzle into your base some mango puree mixed with a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna put all of these recipes in the description box below, so don't worry. And then just give it a light swirl. Looks so beautiful. I think this is my new favorite flavor because it is dreamy. Good idea, Simi. Can you guess what our next flavor is gonna be? Rainbow cake ice cream. Rainbow cake was our very first episode on Bigger Boulder Baking, so make sure you check out this for the recipe. A little bit like our cheesecake, we're gonna break it up into bits. Now the secret is don't over mush it because you start to muddy all the colors and make some pieces big and some pieces small. The thing I like about using cake in the ice creams is that you have the frosting on the cake as well, so you get the best of both worlds. And then in with our base. Just gently fold it into the ice cream base because like I said before, you wanna keep all those lovely vibrant colors. These ice creams make great gifts. They're personal, they're easy to make, and you can customize them to anybody's favorite flavors. This ice cream flavor is my personal favorite, Funfetti ice cream. And after all my hard work, I kinda of think I deserve it. I crumbed some Funfetti cupcakes and in with the ice cream base. Funfetti ice cream wouldn't be the same without the frosting. I mix this frosting with a little bit of ice cream base first to loosen it up and help it freeze. And then like any good Funfetti cake, sprinkles. And then just mix it all together. It's like all your favorite desserts mixed with homemade ice cream. And I even made a label for my ice cream just so everybody knows it's mine. When your ice cream is frozen, serve big scoops of every flavor. You'll be proud to share all of your amazing creations. 
I loved making this video for you guys. If you have any more great suggestions, please leave them in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.